Hello and welcome to the video lecture on accessing the array elements in a 2D array. At the end of this video lecture, students will be able to demonstrate how to access array elements in a 2D array. The following topics will be discussed in this video lecture that is reading the array elements and displaying the array elements. Reading the array elements. Now we will be discussing about how to read input elements into a 2D array. The for loop causes the process of asking for and receiving students marks from the user to be repeated 4 times. It means marks of 00, zero marks of 0, 01, marks of 10, marks of 11. The first iteration through the loop i and j have a value 0. So the scanner function will cause the value type to be stored in the array element marks of 0, 0, the first element of the array. The process will be repeated until i and j both become equal to 1, as there is no array element like marks of 2, 2. In scanner function, we have used the address of operator on the element marks of i, j of the array. We have used it earlier on the other variables. In so doing, we are passing the address of this particular array elements to the scanner function rather than its value. So this, whatever you see on the screen that is 26867082686712, are the address locations of the different array elements of the 2D array. Displaying the array elements. Now moving through the display of array elements, the for loop is the same. But now the body of the loop causes each marks to be displayed until i and j both become equal to 1. It means if I put an input value like 41, 63, 45 and 67 into marks of 00, zero marks of 01, marks of 10 and marks of 11, this will be displayed using the printf. Marks of, so the final value will be 41, 63, 45, 67 with a space inside as I have used the slash t symbol. So 2686708, these are the address locations of the array elements. Now we will be discussing how to write a program for displaying largest element in a 2D array which is of size 3, 3. Now we will be discussing how to write a program for displaying largest element in a 2D array using code block software. So I'll be declaring it as int a 3 3 comma i comma g. Now for this I have to get the input elements for all the array elements that is 3 cross 3. Okay. So for i equal to 0, i is less than 3, 0, i is less than 3, i plus plus bracket then for j equal to 0 j is less than 3 j plus plus bracket printf slash and enter the elements of the array slash n ending with a semicolon scanf percentage d percent scanf percentage d comma and a a r of i j bracket semicolon then now i'm using a printf statement to find the procedure printf the largest element is I'll use a slash in symbol then again for i equal to 0 i is less than 3 i plus plus bracket for j equal to 0 j is less than 3 j plus plus 
bracket the largest element if r of 0 0 is less than r of ij then r of 0 0 is equal to r of i j ending with a semicolon bracket bracket so i'll print the largest element print f the largest element is percentage d comma r of 0 0 ending with a semicolon i'll go for build i'll go for compile i'll go for run so it's asking me to enter the elements of the array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the largest element is 9 now we will see how is it working actually how is the program working how is it displaying the largest element is 9 so this is the table created ij r of 0 0 r of ij r of 0 0 less than r of ij and largest element is something so in your first row first column that is 0 through 0 column element has a value equal to 1 so that is comparing again i and j will be 0 0 so 1 is less than 1 it's a false value so it will display the largest element as 1 now again after this j will be incremented to 1 and i will be in a 0 it means first row second column so the r of 0 0 last largest element was 1 then r of ij is 2 so 1 is less than 2 yes it's true so that's why the largest element is 2 now again j plus plus so the value of this whatever the j plus plus 2 it means first true third column element the last largest value was 2 and the next is now 3 so 2 is less than 3 it's a true then the largest element is 3 now again this after j plus plus so it will be 2 plus plus is 3 so 3 again will be in a false condition so it will come out of the loop and it will go for i plus plus that is i equal to 1 then j will be 0 it means second row first column element so the last largest element was 3 which was stored in r of 0 0 now r of 1 0 is nothing but 4 so 3 is less than 4 it's a true condition so 4 now again the j plus plus 0 plus plus is 1 it means first row uh, sorry uh, it means it means second row second column element that is 5 last largest element was 4 4 is less than 5 yes it is uh, true so 5 will be displayed now again j will be incremented again so it will be 2 so it means second row third column element it will have value called 6 the last r of 0 0 was having a value called 5 so 5 is less than 6 yes it is a uh, true so it will display me the 6 value now j plus plus again it is a 3 so it comes the condition is j is equal to 0 j is less than 3 so 3 is doesn't fall the it is a false condition so it will go for the next row that is i will be incremented to 2 and it will start with j equal to 0 it means third row first column element third row first column element will have a value equal to 7 the last largest uh, last r of 0 0 value was 6 so 6 is less than 7 yes it is a true so the largest element is 7 now again j will be incremented to 1 it means third row second column element so it has a value called 8 and last r of 0 was 7 7 is less than 8 yes it's true so the largest element is 8 now again go for the other condition the next this one will be incremented to 2 it means third row third column element so it has a value called 9 and last r of 0 0 was 8 8 is less than 9 yes it is a true 
so the largest element is 9 this is how your program works for finding the largest element in the array now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answer to the following question what is the output of the following piece of code int main int r 1 phi equal to initialized 1 2 3 4 phi now print a slash n percentage d as 0 3 r of 0 4 written 0 okay ending with the braces that is curly brackets okay so with respect to this when i say r 1 phi it means it will have r 1 phi is nothing but it is i is equal to starting index value is 0 okay array size minus 1 and here 5 minus 1 4 so it will be 0 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 so when i execute it it will be 0 3 value will be having a value called 4 and the 0 4 will be having a value called 5 so these are the output this is the output of the following so it will be 4 and 5 will be the output for your following piece of code These are the following reference. Thank you.